The Su-57, formerly Pak fa and T-50, is currently in development with the storied Sukhoi OKB, a Russian aircraft firm granted origins in the dark days of World War II and having since contributed many designs to the Soviet Air Force and Army in the Cold War years following. The Su-57 is categorized as a fifth-generation fighter recognizing that it will make use of the latest aviation technology, radar-absorbing materials and weaponry to provide for excellent performance, agility, and response for the unseen conflicts ahead. As a fifth-generation fighter, the Su-57 is challenging the realm currently dominated by the American Lockheed F-22 Raptor Air Superiority Fighter the world's first fifth-gen fighter aircraft. The arrival of the T-50 introduces a second player to the once-exclusive fifth-generation club, owned wholly by the United States, while China continues development of their own indigenous fifth-gen fighter across the Pacific. The Su-57 is the first fighter in Russian military service to feature stealth technology. A multi-role fighter capable of aerial combat as well as ground and maritime strike, the design incorporates stealth, supermaneuverability, supercruise, integrated avionics, and substantial internal payload capacity. In the Russian, Pak FA translates to Future Air Complex Tactical Air Forces. The Su-57 has been developed somewhat jointly through a partnership between Russia and India to which India has contributed as much as 35% to date. The Indian intent is to benefit from the program by procuring their own PAK FA-based fifth-gen fighter in the coming decade. Serial production for the T-50 is slated for 2015, and the first public unveiling of the prototype was shown during the MAKS 2011 air show just outside of Moscow in August of 2011. Four prototypes has been completed to date, 2013, with a fifth under construction. State trials are expected for 2014. The Su-57 will move in to take over the roles held by the large Sukhoi Su-27-Su-37 flanker family as well as the lightweight Mikoyan MiG-29 Fulcrum, all fourth-generation fighters. Both of these lines have gone on to see much use in the global market resulting in a myriad of variants and configurations. The Su-57 will also move along the joint Russian-Indian FGFA, fifth-generation fighter aircraft, program for the near future an agreement reached between the two nations in 2001 with results expected to be introduced sometime in 2015. This aircraft and will be based highly on the developmental findings of the Russian Pak FA-T50-Su-57 program with India intending to purchasing some 250 FGFA fighters at project's end. As a multi-role aircraft, the Su-57 will be charged with both air superiority and ground attack roles as well as aerial reconnaissance by way of specialized onboard equipment. Her design will provide excellent performance within her altitude limitations and make possible operations in both day-slash-night as well as adverse weather conditions. Sikoy intends on making her an equally lethal performer in all of her defined roles. Dimensionally, the Su-57 will reflect the size of the other proven Sukhoi flagship product, the Su-27 Flanker. the Su-57 makes use of radar-absorbing materials to achieve its stealth as well as onboard counter systems and structural design. The engines allow for supercruise travel, achieving supersonic flight, without the need for thirsty, radars. The Advanced Active Phased Radar Array, APRA, system is being developed by the Fazitron NIIR Corporation, 
and will offer both forward-looking and side-scanning capabilities similar in scope to the Urbis radar found on the Sukhoi Su-35BM flanker. The complete system, involving multiple linked radar systems, is being tested on an existing aircraft. Capabilities will allow for the tracking and engagement of multiple targets simultaneously, be they ground or air-based. The cockpit will be all glass in nature and digitally minded compared to any previous Russian offering. The onboard computer network will actively work to correct in-flight stability issues and help the pilot by reducing workloads. The wings have been given leading-edge flaps which handle lift at higher angles of attack, while being completely adjustable as the aircraft's speed dictates. Ailerons will support low-speed flight and handling while flaperons will assist in low-speed lift on approaches or take off. Power for the T-50 is being supplied by 2X NPO Saturn AL-41F, turbofan engines offering 33,050 pounds of thrust each. Finalized production versions will be given a 40,000 pounds thrust version, Type 30, that is slated to appear in 2020. Thrust vectoring will be standard and allow for the required agility. Authorities cite a maximum speed of approximately Mach 2, while cruising will be at 1,120 miles per hour. Listed ferry range is 3,400 miles with an operational service ceiling of 65,000 feet. Standard armament will be one or two 30mm GSH-301 series cannons. Six internal hardpoints will be available, as well as up to six external hardpoints. The internal hardpoints will be set across the two internal weapons bays found under the fuselage. There has been confirmed support for the KH-35E anti-ship missile, the R-77 RVVMD air-to-surface missile, the KH-58 USHKE anti-radiation missile, and the KH-38 Mi air-to-surface missile. Of course these are in-service missiles that will greet the Su-57 during its early operational years.